day seven on Sunday. you guys can clearly see I've packed a lot more stuff all of my little trinkets are in boxes now I'm actually having to start packing my clothes in the boxes too so it's all happening I am still definitely going to attempt to try and still film videos when I'm at my grandma's house for however many months that's going to take but all of my videos I'm going to be doing photos of books now because I don't physically have 99% of my books with me anymore so you're going to have to get used to me just doing photos and probably when I do get my shoulders back I'll be so used to just chucking a photo in that I won't even think at first but I'm excited seven on Sunday is this week I am pumped I'm also not gonna be here for next week's seven on Sunday because next week's topic is like books that we've DNF'd and I don't do that so it has not been seven in my whole entire life that I've done that for so I'm missing the topic it's either DNF's or books that make you cry and I don't cry in books either so I can talk about things that are emotional but I also would talk about the same books that I always talk about but for this week's theme we are talking about the book or series that gave you like the worst book hangovers I mean I've had one hangover because I'm pretty good with my drinks so I don't actually ever really get the after effects of drinking but I was sick and vomiting the next day so I don't think a book has ever made me feel like I want to vomit but I just think it's the fact that you enjoyed it when so much in the moment when you were reading it and then after you finished it you just felt horrible because you were sad because that book was gone so that's how I'm going to be talking about these and talking about the books that just like left me in denial or reeling or just killed me and I'm excited. Okay the first one I want to talk about is Lord of Shadows by Cassandra Clare because when I first read this book I was dying honestly I couldn't even think about picking up the sequel because I was so stressed because that book left on such a cliffhanger that I didn't even know what to do like when I physically had Queen of Her Own Doctors in my hands I didn't want to read it but then I was also waiting for Ghost of the Shadow Market but I'm actually currently reading Ghost of the Shadow Market which is really exciting so it means I actually can read Queen of Her Own Doctors very very soon like it's actually nearly happening which I'm like so excited about but even the second time I just had the worst hangover like I definitely think the Dark Eye of Pisces are my favorite trilogy with that being said I haven't actually read The Last Hours yet so that potentially could be my favorites because The Infernal Devices is my second then it's The Mortal Instruments like I do enjoy The Mortal Instruments but it's just like the base series and I'm more excited about like other things going on I even started to continue on with my rewatch of Shadow Hunters which is really exciting so I'm seeing all the characters again and I'm like oh my god but I just know that this book killed me and it was not a fun time but also such a good book. Next I have to talk about Akamath by Sarah J Maas just because again the cliffhanger at the end of that book killed me as well but I just feel that like I hadn't loved a book that much for so long and like I really did enjoy Akatar but then I was like you know Team Tamlin and then we get to Akamath and then all the stuff starts happening and everything. I just was in love with this book by seeing Feyre's development and her relationship with the inner circle starts to develop and her relationship with Reese and started to develop and like you know it's all going good and then we were getting near the end of the book and I'm thinking shit some shit's gonna go on and like I didn't stop thinking about this book for months. The ending was good but also just stressed me out to the next level and like the wait for Akawar was so intense but like I just love this book so much and like the feelings I have for it are just so dear to me and like every time a Sarah Jemma's book comes out I feel the same way. But this is definitely the strongest one. I'm going to mention Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson next just because like after every single book I was just getting so invested and I just needed to know more. And then by the time the series actually ended I feel like I did have such a book hangover. And especially because like I listened to books one and two back to back but then I had to wait a couple of months for book three. So that wait intensified the hangover. I would say and then I read the third book and it was just like oh my god and like everything because I listened to it on a drive to Newcastle like half on the way there half on the way back such a good experience and honestly these are the audiobooks that I seem to listen to the quickest and then I just listened to the box in the woods and like oh my god like seriously all of her books just make me so excited yet stressed but I really enjoyed it and I'm so glad that we got this extra like bonus book because we had the main trilogy and then we had another story that she wrote in quarantine and I'm so glad that it got published. Loved it so much. Next I 
want to talk about Illuminae by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. I just feel that with this trilogy ending, it really gave me a sense of if I was ever going to read something as cool as this, like, ever again. Like, I love the storytelling, I love the characters, I love all the shenanigans that they got up to, and I was just sad. Like, I just missed these books. And I do feel that, like, Aurora Rising has filled that hole up a little bit because it's Space Squads again, and that's amazing. But I do miss these guys. Like, it does make me sad, and I know that this is something that I could easily reread and it is a pretty easy thing to read. I feel like I may eventually do it down the line like obviously after I move because like I'll be here like I want to reread that and it's in a box seven hours away and I won't be able to but I just know that I really enjoyed it. Such a fun trilogy. Next I want to talk about Stalking Jack the Ripper by Kerry Maniscalco and pretty much the whole quartet but I feel like every single book gave me a hangover because I was just so invested in the murder mystery and trying to figure out what was actually going on because literally every book I did pick who the villain was and I was very proud of myself because I was like seeing the signs I was like I can be a detective I pick things up I was always reeling after the murder mystery of it because it was just like so mentally like challenging and such a fun way to read these books and then after every book I was so sad because I'm like I want this again and that's why I really like Truly Devious because it gave me that feeling again for a series that I really loved and then I found another series I really loved I actually have like quite a few murder mystery kind of like YA fun thrillery story I don't even know how to really like like define them but I have quite a few on my TBR and again after I finally find a new place and we actually move into our house it's going to be really fun to be able to like get those out of the boxes and to be able to read them but I love talking about the river and honestly the romantic storyline throughout the quartet was amazing as well like but I just really love these books. Next I want to talk about Lady Helen and the Dark Days Pact. It's the second one by Alison Goodman because the first one was really good but I feel like I didn't fully get completely invested until I read the second book because like angst love that shit so much but I feel that at the end of the second book again there was such a good like plot twist development ending where I wasn't really wanting it to end yet and then it was leaving me with all these thoughts that like having to wait for the third book I was just so mad and I just felt like literally hungover from feelings like I didn't want to read anything until I could get that next book but because it was like a year away I clearly had to read something but I just remember being so sad and I do love this series so much and I really wish more people would read it because I feel like not many people know about it and I know it has been like branded in like America as just the Dark Days Club or the Dark Days Pact or the Dark Days Deceit without the Lady Helen bit but more people need to read it because it is such a good book and so enjoyable even though it kills you it's enjoyable and lastly I want to talk about Sky by Neil Schusterman and again more Thunderhead because it's always what happens in trilogies isn't it it's when you keep up to date with things and you read the first book they can either be a minor or a major like cliffhanger moment where it ends and you just need to know what's going to happen but I feel like it's always the second book and even if the second book is slow at the beginning it always has an ending that kills you and you're just stressed forever so like finishing Thunderhead and then having to wait for the toll to come out and then not even being able to buy the toll because it was so expensive that I literally had a friend buy it for me because I just kept saying I'm not spending the money and then they surprised me with it and then I was like oh my god thank you I can finally read this but I just feel that after Thunderhead because so many different things happened and there was so much new information yet so much devastation I was just like oh my god like like I loved it so much but like it seriously caused me to feel sick I loved it. It's the joys of reading. So anyway, guys, that is all for today, 7 on Sunday. I'm actually kind of weeded out too because I don't have anything to hold when I do thumbnails. Like, I could just hold up random books, I guess, because I always don't show you the books. But I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!